Hi brothers and sisters, uh, this is a continuation of the battle for the image of Christ and we are busy currently in the book of Daniel verse chapter 4 verse 33. Now, the same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar and he was driven from men and did eat grass as oxen and his body was wet with dew from heaven till his hairs were grown like eagle's feathers and his nails like bird's claws. There is a lot to unpack there because we are currently seeing that um, we you, you see the two meter distance, he's been exiled. He was driven from men, we're getting mass starvation, global economy collapsing. This is the Antichrist. These are the things that he's after. And Nebuchadnezzar was the Antichrist back then in Babylon. He was the one. He was the evil one. And did eat grass as oxen. That is what we're saying. The starvation. Today, uh, uh, there is this uh, green, what's it called? Green peace and all this worshipping of of the earth Gaia-ism. It is a false doctrine. We know that the earth is, go is going to be destroyed. A new earth will come down, a new Jerusalem. So these things are inevitable and, and Satan is trying to save this. He's trying to save this kingdom. Because the earth belongs to him, he's a prince of this world. So he's going to try and save it so that he can reign for longer. But he knows his time is up. His time is coming to an end. And his body was wet with dew from heaven. What do we have there? Body temperature. It was the key into access into the shops. Before the vaccine was here, we had to have uh, an access. So they check your temperature anywhere into a church, into a building, into an institution, government buildings. You had to check your temperature. Now that's what that verse is saying. That, that section of that verse. Till his hairs, this is the important one for, for the brothers, especially women. I want you to listen to this part. Till his hairs were grown like eagle's feathers and his nails like bird's claws. What is that image that they're trying to portray there? That is a Je Jezebel image. I see a lot in church women where, um, with, uh, how do you say, uh, false nails. Long, it looks like birds close, it looks hideous. I, I don't know why the ladies think that is pretty. It's just ugly. You know, they have this painted, um, um uh, what is that? Uh, add on nails in Afrikaans, they say pluck on, uh, it's, it's stuck on, it's false. Uh, God has given, made your body perfect. Why would you want to, uh, take, make a, a false, a false nails on your nails your nails are perfect they are beautiful god sees you as beautiful he made you and why are you trying to alter and when you're trying to alter you are trying to change that image of god into an image of the antichrist you are unaware and you are being deceived to think that is pretty it is not you it is you mustn't give heed to seducing spirits because what you are trying to en encompass in your in, over your image is a seducing spirit, a Jezebel spirit, to seduce other men, or for example, and vice versa. I'm not blaming women, it's men, to, everyone is doing it. <clears throat> but you must portray the image of Christ because God has made you perfect. And then it comes to the hair. The, the eagle's feathers, that's what God sees. Nebuchadnezzar's hair grew like eagle's feathers. Now, when you get that extensions and all that um, extend, hair extensions, I don't know what you all call it, but the shaved eyebrows and the hair extensions, those the Lord calls, it, he calls it himself Satan's attachments. Because he's made you fearfully and he, fearfully and wonderfully you have been made. If God wanted you with false hair, he would have put on false hair on, on your head. If he wanted you with long hair, he would have put that long hair on you. 
but he made you perfect. We cannot all look the same, otherwise we look like we've been manufactured in one factory. And it just cheapens it. You must separate the original from the fake. And ladies, we can see, and, and, and the men, we can see what is fake. The plastic surgery, it is a, an abomination. It is, it is not of God. God did not create you like that. You are trying to, to, to what, what the devil is trying to do, he's trying to deceive you into an image that he wants you to be Nebuchadnezzar's image. Because here it says he was so perplexed that his hair grew like eagle's feathers and his nails like bird's claws. And today we see that. The false hair does not look real. It looks like eagle's feathers to the Lord. And when you come before the Lord, the day when you are taken, that is the judgment and he will judge you accordingly. And he's, all he sees is the image of Nebuchadnezzar, the ungodly one. You know, um, in verse 34, And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven, and my understanding returned unto me. And, ble and I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored Him that liveth forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and His kingdom is from generation to generation. I want to just further unpack that um, verse 33. Uh, speaks of, an, of a defeated king, defeated image of the beast, manifested at ground zero, his place of zero. When, when we are born again, we come, come from a place of zero. That's the best place to come from. That place of despair when no one, the world has rejected you. And that's how we get saved. You know, this is just a, a, a message for you guys today. The place of repentance that I'm, come, that I'm nothing and nothing filled with evil. On his knees defeated. That is what Nebuchadnezzar was going through. And look, the Lord saved him. In verse 34, his understanding, he's from insanity, his understanding returned unto him. You know, this uh, further, I just want to reiterate, um, especially the ladies, this uh, image, uh, this image of, of hair extensions, wigs, eyelashes, false eyebrows, plucked eyebrows, fake long nails. You know, you've really got to just read verse 33 and just understand what that means today. I don't want to get into the high hills and all that. Um, I'm not, that's not my place. But, you know, there is, I'm going to get into maybe the, now the next teaching. I'm going to follow up with the next teaching on the, the godly apparel of ladies. It's in the New Testament, you know, because you must come humbly to the Lord when you are wearing those high heels and the dresses and the, the low cuts and the, the more skin you showing, revealing, it is saying that you are not humble before, that you are more prideful and it's more about the self. And this is, is uh, to men as well, because today the, 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 the clothing apparel is completely flipped. Men are wearing tight, tight revealing stuff and, the, and uh, you don't want to be a stumbling block, a stumbling block for your brother or your sister in church. The focus must be on the Lord and not on the person you're in the tight, skimpy outfit or in front of you. You're being a stumbling block. And that is God, that is you are to be blamed for that person stumbling. Because his eyes are still, you, you know, the flesh is the flesh. And sin is in the flesh. And that seducing spirit you do not want to be. You've got to discern a seducing spirit in front of you. Because the seducing spirit does not have male and female, it is one spirit. There's no, it's a universal, unisex. How do you say unisex? Spirit, seducing spirit. So you've got to be very, very careful. I just want to close here before the next video. Um, this is how the Lord sees you. My favorite, favorite verse. 1 Samuel verse six, chapter 16, verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him, for the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Amen and amen. Receive that. I hope you enjoyed that teaching on 
uh, Satan's attachments, Nebuchadnezzar's uh, uh, image, the battle for the image, and that we close it.